What's up gang? GearGuy226 with a, another product review. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Blaze Video Trail Camera. So make sure that you stick around. Alright guys, thank you again for hanging out with me today. I definitely appreciate it. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're getting notifications because I've got a lot of content planned that is going to be coming out very, very soon. So, uh, definitely trying to be more active here on YouTube and bring you a lot more videos. So, make sure you don't miss any of it. Now, before we jump into the review of the camera, I do want to mention I've got a 10% off coupon code from Blaze Video that they were gracious enough to give to me for you guys to use on their website, which I'll have linked down below. For the code, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'll make sure that you get that code. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, before we talk about the camera itself, if you've watched my channel any length of time, you know the first thing I always comment on is packaging. Uh, the box that the camera comes in, slide that out of the way, nothing special, just a plain, well I wouldn't say plain, but just a cardboard box with some pictures on it. You've got a couple of specs here on the top, but other than that, pretty simplistic and nothing to write home about. I wouldn't say that they slouched on it, but again, it's a box. You're never going to use this thing, so not a big deal. Now, let's open it up. Inside, of course, you would have the camera right here. You've got a thank you card and instructions down there in the bottom. Over here to the right is where the tree strap goes, as well as connectivity cables. So we'll go ahead and slide that out of the way and take a look at the camera itself. So just like every other trail camera out there, or I guess most of them, um, at least the ones that I'm familiar with, it is plastic or I guess technically a really hard polycarbonate. Um, really good quality, definitely feels nice and hefty in the hand. Um, I, I don't think you're going to have to worry about it breaking. Granted, I haven't torture tested this guy or anything like that, but uh, feels on par with other ones that I've seen and or used. So, right here on the front, you've got your uh, your viewfinder or your lens as, as well as the IR sensors, motion sensor, all that good stuff. Uh, it does claim to be a um, a no glow camera, which works perfectly fine in my experience. Uh, the camera on it is 16 megapixels, although you don't have to use 16 megapixels if you don't want to. It does have a few different settings, and we'll talk about those as we move inside. Uh, it also records video in 1080p. Again, you do have options if you don't want to record at 1080p. Um, the the night vision says that it is it, it works up to 20 meters. It's also IP66 waterproof, um, basically meaning it can withstand a storm. You're definitely not going to want to submerge this guy, although I can't really think of a reason why you would. So. Just a couple of specs in regards to the, the camera itself, so let's go ahead and take a look around it. So, right here on the front, in addition to the sensors, you've got a, a nice camo pattern. The one thing that I'm not really a, a fan of is the fact that the camo is not included on the sides. Um, in addition to something else we'll talk about in just a second, I don't like the fact that the camo is just on the front. Am I nitpicking? Yeah, maybe. But again, when I talk about this other feature, or, or I guess missed feature, 
it'll kind of make sense. So uh, up at the top, nothing. On the left, just your hinges. On the right, you've got your latches. Pretty simple and straightforward. Flip it up, move it out of the way, and the camera opens. You've also got a hole here so that you can throw your padlock in there and keep the camera secure. Definitely a really nice feature. On the bottom, tripod mount, as well as a plug for an external power source, should you choose to use that. And it does, of course, have the rubber boot to protect it if you're not using it. On the back, simple, standard, just a, uh, a place for your tree strap. And it does come with this one, one inch nylon webbing. And as far as size goes, you could probably get it around a tree that's about two feet in diameter. So uh, that's a general overview of the outside of the camera. Now, talked earlier about the camo print and one other thing that I'm not really very fond of with this camera is the fact that you cannot run a steel cable anywhere. So I know that if you're if you're using this on public land or I, I know that there's a lot of clubs out there who have guys in the clubs that tend to have kind of sticky fingers and they love to steal these things. Unfortunately, you don't have an option to run a steel cable through it to secure it to the tree. In my opinion, that is a big, big letdown. Um, you know, maybe they'll change it in the future I don't really know but for me if blaze video did not send this to me to evaluate I wouldn't buy it because of the fact that you cannot secure it to a tree harsh yeah maybe but it's just my preference and I want to make sure that I point that out because I know that there's lots of guys who buy these and definitely want to be able to permanently secure it to a tree. Um, or at least, like I said, use steel cable and padlocks, all that good stuff, so that the folks with sticky fingers can't take them. And it, in addition to that, the fact that you can't secure it to a tree, you know, it, it also stands out on a tree because of the gray on the sides. And that's what I mentioned, the combination of those two things, in my opinion, I wouldn't buy this. Just wouldn't, because of those two things. Too much of a, of a potential security risk, um, or, or theft risk, I guess is the better terminology. So, do with that as you will, but we're going to digress and move inside. So, again... Easy to do, opens up, and over here on the right, you've got your battery compartment. Takes eight standard AAA batteries, pretty simple, and controls super easy, really, really intuitive. So, three positions off, on, and then set. So, when we turn it on, you can see we've got a countdown. So that's going to give you time to lock it up before it sets itself. So we're going to slide over one more time to set. Now, one of the cool things about this camera, I, I've never seen this uh, with a different, any other trail camera, is the fact that when you're going through the modes, you've also got a viewfinder and it's also going to show you what you're looking at definitely dig that I think that's a really cool feature I've never seen that before so I think that it's worth pointing out now I'm gonna cover that up so hopefully you guys can see what's here so we don't want to be in the menu yet 
So, up in the top left corner, you can see it's in camera mode, 16 megapixels, shows the temperature. Temperature doesn't seem to be right though, uh, it's definitely not 78 degrees in my house right now. It is uh, November 12th and it's about 40 degrees outside, probably about 60, 63 inside. So that is not correct and unfortunately I can't find a way to change it, but it is what it is. Time and date stamp down at the bottom and then battery level right here in the bottom left. So we're going to zoom the camera in to make this a little bit easier, hopefully, and go through the modes. So we're going to click menu. All right, first option. Let me try to find the best angle to do this at. Sorry, guys. Is mode. So we'll click OK. You can see it gives you three different options camera, video, or camera and video. And this is basically going to do both. We'll set it there. Select your language, self-explanatory, photo size, quite a few different options. Like I mentioned before, you don't only have the 16 megapixel option. You could do 12, 8, 5, or 3. We're going to leave it at 16. Video size, you could do 720 by 480, 720p, 1080p. We're going to rock with 720 for right now. Number of pictures, one, two, or three. We're going to do three. And this is the same if you're in the camera plus video mode or just the camera mode. Video length, five seconds. Let's bump that to 10. And just out of curiosity, let's see how far it goes. So up to 30 seconds. Yep. So video length is up to 30 seconds. Uh, here you've got your shutter in interval. We'll set it for two minutes. I th that goes up to 60 minutes. Uh, sensitivity. Normal, high, or low. We'll go normal. Set your date and time. I've already done that. Date stamp. If you want the date stamp on the pictures or video or date and time, we're going to say date and time. Timer, if you want it set. Time lapse. You can also make it password protected, show the serial number, so uh, storage on it. This is pretty cool. You can stop saving video when it's full or cyclic storage, which basically once your memory camera fills up, it's still going to continue to record. It's just going to delete your, your oldest video. To replace it or pictures so I definitely like that uh, in the fact that it gives you gives you options format the memory card reset the defaults and the version so again menu super super easy to navigate once you get it set the way you want you're just gonna slide this guy over from set one click over to on get it on the tree and you are good to go so again definitely like the menu and the fact that it's really really easy to use um, quite a few cool little options on the inside that I really really do like about this camera 
But again, the the lack of security with it. I, I uh, again, I wouldn't buy it. But if that's not something that is meaningful to you, then it is what it is. So. Uh, what we're going to do now, before we end the, end the video, we're just going to get the camera set up, try to record some pictures and video. Um, I, I don't know if I'm going to put it out in the woods. I, I don't think we really have any animal activity. I may just set it up in the driveway uh, to get pictures and videos of vehicles. You know, we'll see what happens. So... We'll do that and in the video after that, but before we get to that point, like I mentioned, we have a 10% off coupon code uh, when you go to blazevideo.net just for you guys, make sure that you use it. It is GearGuy226 and I'm going to throw that right up here somewhere in the video. So. Uh, definitely use that if you're interested in the camera. Check out Blaze Video's stuff. Uh, really good quality from what I can tell. And uh, if the lack of security doesn't matter to you or you know it's not something you have to have, I would definitely pick this guy up for $75. Bucks. I, I think it's a really good deal. So any questions or anything throw them in the comment section. I'd be happy to help and I will see you guys in the next video.